Uh, my name is Nafil Yasin, and today I'm going to talk about how we can profile traffic patterns of networks uh, and a tool uh, that we have built to accomplish that. Okay, so what is a traffic pattern? Uh, one example is uh, all to all traffic, where a set of applications create a uniform utilization all over the network. Uh, in this example, uh, we have a small Levis point topology with four switches and two racks of servers. Uh, uh, in an all-to-all -all traffic pattern, the servers might se send traffic up to the leaves, which would then spread the traffic evenly over, over the spines, and, uh, and then the, the pattern of the utilization would continue until uh, all the flows stop at approximately the same time. A pattern like this uh, might suggest the importance of bisection bandwidth, uh, for instance. Note, however, uh, this traffic pattern is different uh, than a traffic pattern that involves a straggler, uh, where flows from a single host takes longer time than expected. Similar to all-to-all -all traffic pattern in the start, uh, but a significant amount of time is spent only a few active flows. Uh, uh, Unlike all-to-all -all traffic pattern, this pattern might suggest that the need for better sharding and mitigation techniques. Uh, so when designing, understanding, or optimizing computer networks, identifying the most common patterns of the network usage can provide important insights. Uh, if you look at traditional computer programs, uh, profilers are already widely used. Uh, there are many examples like G-Prof, uh, O-Profile, and D-Trace. Uh, the most common of these follow a very similar workflow, where during the execution of the program, the profiler uh, periodically samples the program counter and call stacks. Uh, uh, call stacks to find out statistically which functions uh, or control flows are, are most common in the program. For example, uh, this is the output of GProf uh, for a program named filter video. Uh, it calls three different, di different functions. Uh, the colors and the numbers represent how much time is spent uh, in each function, uh, including the subfunctions. Uh, a darker color here represents uh, time spent in each function. Uh, the output of the program gives an application developer an idea where to focus their efforts to improve their programs. Uh, similar to these traditional profilers, uh, our goal in this work is to provide uh, network operators a profile for their network traffic patterns. Uh, now, before I introduce our system, uh, I want to quickly talk about how networks are characterized today. Uh, to that end, there are a set of existing tools that can capture and rank utilization of individual devices and flows. Uh, one example is heavy hitter analysis, uh, which can extract the most common flows in the network. These, unfortunately, uh, miss our relationships between the devices or flows that you need to identify, uh, for example, all-to-all -all or straggler patterns, uh, which are fundamentally defined by coordinated start and stop times of the flows. Uh, today, uh, these type of network-wide analysis are typically manual and specialized. Uh, for example, uh, to determine the presence of straggler, uh, operators would need to first collect TCP dumps at every end host to get the start and stop time, then adjust for time drifts uh, to get more precise flow times, uh, then perform something like outlier analysis, something like via z-score to see if there's a straggler. Finally, we would need to see, we would need to somehow quantify prevalence of stragglers uh, in, the overall, in the overall network. Uh, a, a different target pattern would require a completely different analysis. Uh, so we present a profiler for packet-accurate network-wide traffic patterns. Rather than relying on expert inference or approximations, the goal of TPProf is to make direct traffic patterns analysis of running networks simple, easy, and accessible to any network operator with a compatible programmable network. TPProf includes two components that generates an output, a profiling tool, and an associated alerting system. Uh, our profiling tool automatically extracts uh, the most common traffic patterns. Uh, we sample network-wide switch utilization. Uh, we use learning to extract the most common patterns uh, and then gives, provide a visualization. This is very similar to a traditional application profiler. Uh, for, however, for networks, this is not enough. Uh, so we go one step further. Uh, we develop an alerting system. Uh, to raise alerts based on detected patterns uh, in order to facilitate network automation. We provide a natural interface uh, to specify known patterns, and then we match the signatures uh, with the network samples using a fuzzy matching to raise alert. Uh, 
TPProf can also differentiate between a, a set of applications so operator can focus on one or a set of applications at a time. Okay. Now, let me walk you through a typical workflow of TPProf. Uh, let's imagine we have a if I have a similar network to the one that we saw before, okay, the first step is to take a network wide switch level samples at regular intervals. Here, uh, we are going to show each sample as a four box set where each box represents utilization of a particular switch. Uh, darker color means higher utilization at that switch. In this example, we have a simple uh, all to all traffic pattern. Uh, the switches all start out as empty and then they all they all ramp up and then they stop at a similar time uh, uh, after sampling is complete uh, we cluster these samples to summarize a few configuration that best represents the entire network race uh, we call these representative samples uh, network states uh, tpprof sort these by frequency to see to determine which one is most prevalent once we have the network states, uh, we plot the relationship between these states. Uh, uh, the hollow circle represents the network was in, in, in that particular state for, for, for a single sample, uh, whereas a filled state, uh, whereas a filled circle shows the network was present for a longer period. Uh, the period is the, the, the length of period is, is represented in logarithm form. Uh, in this example, uh, the network was in the first state for tens of seconds. Uh, we call this change of states subsequences at to represent a subsequence of the network trace that we collected. Uh, to get, uh, and, uh, and we sort these subsequence by coverage uh, so we can see uh, which, ones, which, uh, which ones are the most important ones. Uh, together, uh, these states and subsequence represent a network profile that shows us traffic patterns. The way to read this graph would be network started at, at no utilization and then it went to high utilization for tens of seconds and then came back to no utilization. This is, this is exactly what we would expect from an all-to-all -all traffic pattern. Uh, the visualization is useful, uh, but, an op but a network operator would have time to keep looking at it. So we add a way for network operators to specify alerts if a known traffic pattern occurs. Uh, a traffic pattern could be a presence of stragglers or, or an ECMP imbalance. Uh, and the network operator will add a signature for whatever traffic pattern she wishes to detect. Uh, and TPProf will compare them with the network trace uh, uh, in, giving, in, in giving the comparison in real time a, a score. Uh, a higher score means a better match as soon as the score is enough to represent a meaningful match, we raise an alert uh, that the particular traffic pattern is found. Uh, okay, uh, we went through the motivation uh, and the overview. Next, uh, we go through the challenges and design and then finally the implementation and evaluation. Okay, so the first challenge is uh, uh, we have uh, we ha the network data is measured in real values and could be very noisy. Uh, in this example, uh, we see that the first and second state are very, very similar. Uh, and we cannot possibly show all, all states uh, in our, uh, uh, so, we, we, so we want, uh, so we need a representative summary of values. Uh, second, uh, traditional profilers benefit, benefit from well-defined building blocks. We know which functions call from which functions and we can easily create the hierarchy by just looking at the node program. In the networks, uh, this is not the case. Uh, we want something in the network uh, that can be used as a building block. Uh, to resolve these challenges, uh, we introduce two abstractions. Uh, the first uh, is the network state, uh, which is an approximate representative sample of device network device level utilization. Uh, and the other is a traffic pattern subsequence to represent the change of network over time. Uh, I'll go in detail in, uh, more later in the presentation. Okay, uh, now let's talk about the design. Uh, there are three major components in the in TPProf design. First is the sampling framework, uh, which collects the data from the switches. Uh, all data is then collected at a central aggregator. Uh, the second component uh, is the profiler for automatic extraction and visualization of most common states and subsequences in the captured data. Uh, the final component is an alerting system, uh, which relies on a scoring engine uh, that scores the incoming streams of data against the user-defined signatures in order to facilitate network automation. Uh, now uh, I'm going to go through uh, each of these uh, components separately. Okay, uh, the sampling framework. Uh, 
our sampling framework collects switch level counters. Uh, we poll counter in coordinated fashion. Uh, SNMP and Speedlight are two ways to sample. Uh, in our test bed, uh, we use Speedlight. Uh, one advantage of Speedlight is uh, you can separate our traffic uh, for individual applications or a set of applications. This allows us to optimize traffic for each application separately. Uh, now we have the data. Uh, next step is profiling. Uh, uh, our uh, so the first step in profiling is to extract the network states. Uh, we have the trace here, uh, and we want to get the representative samples uh, that accurately re represents the network state uh, such that it preserves the spatial distribution of the traffic. Uh, we do this by using Gaussian mixture models to cluster the samples. Uh, uh, GMMs work great for small topology. Uh, the challenge is to making them work for large number of switches uh, as large number of devices can create huge number of dimensions in the data. Uh, so we pre-process the data using principal component ana an analysis uh, which, which reduces the number of dimensions. Uh, uh, it, it, does this by, it does this by removing the redundancies in the original data uh, by creating a new set of independent features that explains most of the variability in the original data. Uh, here's an example uh, where PCA takes a 3D space uh, and, and reduces it to a 2D space. Uh, uh, PCA works great for networking data because the networking data is highly correlated uh, and we show that correlation uh, in, uh, in our paper. Uh, next, uh, we ha so we have the so now we have the network trace from the sampling framework. We also have the states from Gaussian mixture models, uh, 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 and it, they both repre they, it represents the spatial distribution. Uh, the next step is uh, is to extract the common temporal patterns uh, in the traffic. Uh, basically, we want to see which sequences of states occur most frequently. It turns out that there are many subtleties to identifying and ranking common network subsequences. Just like in case of networking state, uh, there's a lot of noise in typical networking data. For example, differences in measurement of timing, uh, available bandwidth, or workload size uh, uh, can create subtle differences between executions of even the same workload. Uh, uh, there are also challenges in quantifying the importance of traffic patterns as simple metrics like length and frequency can lead to misleading results. Uh, due to time constraints, I don't have uh, I don't have time to explain our subsequent I, I, I don't have time to explain the subsequent clustering algorithm. Uh, please refer to our paper. Uh, the final component is uh, traffic pattern scoring. Uh, in this part, uh, we write signatures uh, for known traffic patterns. Uh, the example here is of a traffic imbalance case uh, where either the right side or left side of the spine is have much more load than the other. The letter above uh, uh, each state is to denote that particular state. Uh, we, we represent the signature using a state machine uh, here. Uh, we, so we have signatures represent using a state machine, and we also have a network trace. Uh, in this example, if we see that, okay, if, if any point, uh, if our network trace match, uh, reaches state C or D, which are the end state, uh, we raise an alert, uh, and we do fuzzy matching of the trace against the signature. Uh, if it matches, uh, it reaches, uh, uh, we raise an alert here. Finally, uh, let's come to the implementation and the evaluation. So we implemented using Python and C++. Uh, our testbed includes four switches with Levy spine topology connected to six servers. Uh, we tested a variety of applications, but I will only cover here memcache. Uh, finally, we show the use of profiler uh, with Facebook data center stress. OK, uh, so we ran a balanced memcache request response workload every six seconds. Uh, each request response workload lasts approximately three seconds. Uh, this was done to ensure that uh, we see a similar amount of fully loaded and no utilization. Uh, profiling, uh, this workload gives us this output. Uh, we can see that there are three states in which the network spans its time. The first one accounts more than half the trace, uh, where the network is uh, unutilized. Uh, the other two show different states uh, of leaf spine, e even leaf spine distribution, uh, indicating that the network is relatively balanced uh, while it is being used. Uh, as expected of the workload, uh, uh, the subsequence of the profile show trace of composed of on and off periods uh, between all, tra all traffic and no utilization. We can also deduce from the duration of repetitions uh, uh, that the that, the, that there's a, like a ramping up and ramping down because uh, it either goes from no utilization to partial utilization uh, 
and then do fully dilation. And then also when, when from fully dilation, it goes to partial dilation before going to no dilation. And we, comparing subsequence one and two, we can also see uh, that ramp up seems to be a magnitude faster than ramps down. Okay. So, as another case study, we use uh, TB profile debug and apparent straggler in the network. Uh, in this experiment, uh, we add a heavy background traffic flow between two hosts connected to the lower left leaf, uh, represented by the green arrows here. Uh, we can clearly see uh, that, that uh, the presence of uh, long flow at the left leaf switch, uh, uh, because memcache workload at the, at the left leaf takes longer time uh, as high load when memcache is just finishing up. Okay. Uh, next, we show the showcase the traffic pattern scores uh, by demonstrating uh, how they can help answer important questions like uh, is my network performing poorly due to load imbalance or stragglers. Uh, the, so the first case is presence of a long flow. Uh, we hand label the ground crew data for comparison. Uh, we plot the rolling average of matching between each signature and traces, uh, and we observe spikes. Uh, we observe spike at the same place as the ground truth. Uh, next is uh, ECMP misconfiguration. We again have hand labeled the data uh, to as the ground truth. This time if we see the imba imbalance signature matching scores closer to the ground truth as, as expected. Okay, TBProf is also able to profile more complex networks as well. Uh, to demonstrate this, uh, we run TBProf's profiler over a large scale trace of the Facebook front end clusters. Uh, the, the states represent a to total of 48 top of rack switches. Uh, as in the original paper describing the trace, we can observe a clear split between uh, web cache, multi feed, and web servers. Uh, uh, states A and C show MAM cache at full utilization, uh, web servers at low utilization, and a varying levels of uh, multi feed uh, traffic. Uh, diverging from original paper, we find an additional network state, uh, that's the state D here, which occurs only 3.8% of the time. Uh, in which the multi-feed server utilization spikes. Uh, uh, let me summarize everything. We showed that we need to profile the network uh, with TBProf, network state, and subsequent abstraction. We can visually represent traffic patterns. Uh, we can raise alerts based on user-defined traffic patterns, and our code is available on GitHub. Thank you. Questions? Yeah. Uh, thank you for the... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so I mean, most of the uh, examples you gave, you gave based on the uh, bit rate per second. Yeah. Um, are you able as well to to um, realize traffic, let's say malicious traffic, that two nodes shouldn't speak to each other to start with? Yes. So we haven't actually explored that, but uh, we have sort of discussed it. Uh, if if you can write uh, signatures, you know, that can capture malicious traffic, then yes, you can possibly do it with our system. So your tool allows to define your Yeah, own you can query. define your own signatures. And if you can define the signatures, then yes, you can uh, uh, write it. All right, thank you. I have a question. Uh, have you thought about using this tool to generate representative uh, traffic traces from a live deployment? Hmm. Uh, right now, no. But I think it, it could be a very interesting area to explore. All right, yeah. let's thank our speaker. I think one oh, question. there's one more question. Sorry, go ahead. See <laughs> uh, yeah, nice work. I wonder if you've thought about using that to profile maybe CPU usage of different components of a distributed application rather than network state. Uh, so, so right now, uh, so our an, an underlying system is we use Speedlight, which which helps us take synchronized measurements uh, yeah. with. Uh, with using CPUs, uh, it can be hard to take synchronized measurements across many servers at the same time. Right. Okay, now let's thank our speaker. <laughs> thank you.